Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be having a conversation about how to optimize your setting in the video settings, general settings, and we'll also be talking about some settings in the accessibility tab as visualized sound effects have been buffed. And in some cases, colorblind mode could also help you. So that's what we'll be talking about today. And with that, let's start out with video settings. Now, I really think video settings, you just have to ask yourself, what do you find enjoyable about the game? Do you like pumping up all your graphic settings, making it look nice, um, vSync on to eliminate screen tearing, motion blur? Then by all means, turn those on. You know, you shouldn't be, if making yourself more competitive is making the game a lot less fun for you, I don't recommend doing that. But the fact of the matter is, particularly with things like shadows, turning these on epic is a major disadvantage. So if you wanna perform and performing is what is fun for you, then I recommend staying away from trying to max out all the settings. But view distance on Epic is still an important setting that I would highly recommend you have on if your computer is able to run it. Because it literally says right here, further view distance can be advantage in gameplay. And it absolutely is. Because even if you can't necessarily see a player further away, if you could see buildings render in sooner, you can see that hotel in Tilted Towers has been destroyed, then you know that, hey, somebody certainly was there and there was a major fight that went on, right? So this is going to be advantage. And if your PC can get good FPS, I highly recommend you have this on. Shadows, highly recommend you have it off unless you find it enjoyable to have on Epic. It's gonna make it a lot harder to see people in dark environments, not recommended. These other settings, they're not a huge disadvantage to turn up to Epic, still a disadvantage, but if you wanted to have a compromise between being competitive and a nice looking game, you could do something like this. Epic everything except for Shadows Off. Um, V-Sync and Motion Blur, if you want to be competitive, again, I recommend these off. V-Sync has the possibility of introducing input latency. Um, it even says in the description, so don't recommend that. And Motion Blur, you don't ever want to be making your enemies more blurry. So this is not a very good idea, again, unless you, it makes the game more fun for you. Multi-threaded rendering, I'd recommend you have this on. Um, I don't think there's a ton of reason to turn this off. You're probably going to want to spread the load of the game across multiple cores. So have it on. If you find that it gives you terrible performance, you could always turn it off. But I'd say as a rule of thumb to have it on. Okay, in terms of general settings, um, we're not covering controller settings today, as I've already made a video on that. We're going to start with the important ones, which are sprint by default. Sprint by default is a mandatory setting. If you do not have Sprint by Default on, I highly recommend you reconsider. There are essentially zero situations where you want to be walking over sprinting, right? If you Sprint by Default, you skip a click and it just makes everything faster. So Toggle Sprint is basically a redundant setting when you have Sprint by Default on. Now Sprint Cancels Reloading, don't necessarily recommend that. That can get very awkward with Sprint by Default, so not recommended for that. If you need to cancel reload, you can always pickaxe back to gun switch to another gun, back to your original gun. There's many ways to cycle the reload and reset it. So don't worry about that. You don't need this. Tap to search interact. I think that's a nice thing. When you're opening a chest, you're just reducing the risk of you accidentally letting go before it's open. So I'd say you should have this on. Um, toggle targeting, I suppose that's preference. I don't know anyone that uses this though. Reset building choice. Um, on keyboard and controller, this is almost irrelevant at this point because on keyboard, you just instantly click the build piece you need, and on controller, you can instant place a build and pro build immediately. So this is essentially redundant, but I think it is helpful to show walls on it first because you'll see where the wall is gonna place, which is the most important build piece when you're reacting to getting shot at. So I'd say have it on. Aim assist, you want that on. Edit mode aim assist, I'd actually recommend you don't have this on because the middle piece in the stair, um, you can't edit that. It gets hard to edit through that. So I recommend this off. Turbo building you need on, creative mode, you know, whatever you want. Auto material change, you need this on. If you still have this off, there's no advantage to having this off. You need it on. Um, auto run, whatever you want. Auto open doors, up to you. Uh, it's not gonna open doors faster. The way to open doors faster is to spam pickaxe and gun, but this is not, you know, that's just up to you. Auto pickup, auto pickup has been fixed in season eight, I believe, uh, where you could now land on guns and it won't like freak out with your inventory. Auto pickup is actually very powerful now because it makes it more likely that you can win those 50-50s on a chest where you're trying to pick up the gun first. Could be something worth trying. Auto store consumables to the right for the vast majority of you will help because you're gonna put your consumables on the right side of your inventory. Build a pro build immediately. Okay, mandatory setting. If you don't have this on, turn it on because you do not wanna to have to double click to switch build pieces. Um, in terms of vibration, I don't recommend that. Uh, record replays, 
replays might slightly reduce your FPS, but if you have spare horsepower left, this game's not super demanding to run. You can just have it on so you can go look at your replays. Okay, um, there is a setting here that I do want to cover, which is visualized sound effects. Visualized sound effects has been changed to where now you can see uh, where the sounds are, obviously. But you now have sound, but it's locked to mono. So what does that mean? Mono means that there is no left, right in your audio. So you won't be able to hear left from right, but you'll be able to visually see it. Some people have been arguing that visualized sound effects is like a meta setting. I'm not so sure about that. Yes, it is helpful. And sometimes you can see a sound that you can't hear very well. But turning your audio to mono isn't isn't ideal uh i think it's something worth trying but i'm not going to outright say this is a setting you must have on because you are reducing the amount of sound you're getting to your ears so you're now more relying on visual um which maybe is better for you maybe not i think it's something worth trying colorblind mode i also think colorblind mode can work if you use triton Note 10 you can make it easier to spot llamas so it might be something worth trying but i don't outright say you need to have that on and with that, I hope this helps you, and I will catch you in the next video.